presents. Is this what he saw? Oh, jeez. It, it doesn't come... No, but... Okay, I'm screwed. One more of those and I'm dead. One more of those and it's game over for me. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. So, uh, we're just gonna get right into the trial because we, ha we have a bit of an issue. Cody is going to be testifying on the stand, and we have no idea what he saw. So we're going to have to get his full testimony and see if we can pick it apart piece by piece to see what he actually saw. But anyway, defendant lobby. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. You say. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. There's no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're getting, going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something Phoenix today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Well, I think we'll be good. Camera's not centered, but there we, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. October 19th, 10 o'clock a.m. District courtroom number four. And Edgeworth's defending. We're screwed. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Okay. I said that. I said it perfectly this time. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people in prison at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. Probably not. Also, why is my... Why is my capture not zooming in? There we go. Okay. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Or that director. Oh, God. Not this guy. I didn't like this guy the first time I met him. Why am I supposed to like him now? Hello. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? Well. No. It's not. That's not the issue here. I'm the director. I make the Steel Samurai noob ruffle. And Edward's not happy. Salmonella. I'm a director. Television. Yeah. I figured that was going to go south. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. All right, Mr. Testimony. Mr. Witness. The day of the murder, what did you do? I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action run scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio two trailers, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. You don't seem sure about that. In the employee area? That's right. 
it was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run-through? Oh yeah, the security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Uh, she was che she was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Hmm. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak, at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. <laughs> oh, okay. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. Mr. Manila. Mm-hmm. What do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the one in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Okay. No, er, uh, um, heh, good call. I, er, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. St enough of the tongue waggle. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I er, wolfed it down then. <sighs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Uh, huh. You didn't take a single break? Er, well... Y yeah, no one, not a one. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Minala, you're, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you say that the court that you ate that T-bone steak during the break? Oof. Uh. Well? Um... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Oh, jeez. Edgeworth. Edgeworth, no. Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, F F F W I W. We took a break, Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit the murder in Studio One. That's just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Um. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Hmm. That makes no sense. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? Hmm. There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Sorry. D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. How do you know that? Why is that? I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. Well, Phoenix? That testimony was too short to write to wring any kind of useful information out of. All I have to do is prove that he was able to get to Studio One in that time. Oh great, is that all? Mm. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, Hmm. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement. How exactly did... Okay. Crap. And I'm screwed. What do you mean? If I have to say you look like... Okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I'm confused. Hmm. I'd say he was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's poss possible, possible time-wise. Oh, geez, that's worth. That. Hmm. Oh, jeez. I'm screwed. I don't... Okay. Shit. Uh, let's see. I don't know. What are we doing for those 15 minutes? Eat my T-bone steak. What else? Hmm. I don't really know what to do evidence-wise. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Okay. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor? Okay, now we've done it. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of these one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio Wayne? Um. It's possible. It is.
If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact same time of the break of the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Crap. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4 p.m. the path between the studios was blocked? Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right, right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey's head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. Shh. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. But what? It's over? Oh, for God's sake. Also, he has a ponytail. Very well, this court, the court's opinion of this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore had no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that, all that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would, I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor! The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. Shit! Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. We still have a chance, though. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten-minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for the recess. Oh, shit! What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trial has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what, do what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I'd never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there were more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Er, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone is in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I. You. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. All right. Oh. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Uh, oh, r right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. There we go. Hi, Cody. Now I can see your face. Will the witness say his name and grade in, in school? Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Edgeworth. This is why we don't ask kids to testify. Cody? Answer his question. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Edgeworth. Edgeworth is... Okay. Witness, or I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the year incident. You got a problem with that? Oh, boy. Please tell us what you saw that day. 
What, Pops? You want me to tell you and tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgewood will be fine. I prefer beard gentlemen myself. A very long day. Yeah, we're 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 screwed. This is incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Ugh. But my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you have a kid to to bargain turn? You had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera, I added to the court record. A newly digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. Let's see what happens. Let's see what you got. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Okay. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the stu for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came around to the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow. If I had my camera with me, that would that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so he went home. Interesting. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see here, honestly. F fair enough! Okay, so he didn't have the... So he didn't have the camera with him? Found a map on the internet. Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you if you go off the path a little, there, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Okay, so... So he pr so he, what he just said proves that somebody could have gone to Studio 1, even though the path was blocked. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. So around the time of the murder. No. Because he, cause he, if he saw the Steel Samurai, the Steel Samurai would have showed up around 2 o'clock. Hmm. You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue blue studio doors. But I guess that but guess what happened next? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kinda of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda of far away. Hmm huh, he's been awfully vague. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. I it's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing that the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. He likes you. Yeah, he likes you. Hmm. Was the day of the film... Was the was that day the first time you've been to the studio? I'm um, actually I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day, and that security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez. Yeah. Good job, Edgeworth. You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do. I've taped every show. And I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. 
Have you been to the amusement park? Of course. Duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not... Okay. I was going for the studio. Are you sure it was the Steel Samurai, though? The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Y yes, I suppose he was. Okay. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera you're, contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? You see. Anyway, Cody... I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera to, to on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cool you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child of persecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a persecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? We, we don't have a problem. So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court what you were about what you were so busy watching. Okay, so now we have so now we have a bit of a goal here. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But it was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he goes from the bad guy for the bad guy. Wham! Then then the bad guy stopped the moving. He's so strong, the steel samurai rules. Interesting. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. All right, Cody, what you see? Yeah, I had my camera with me, but it was good to the action. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? N no! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. Better press everything. So the bad guy attacked him first? Y yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? W well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? H how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai chop, samurai slap, s something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? I don't want to press him too hard or he's going to... Hmm. Cody? What? what? Something, something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of mur what murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Fair enough! Order! Order! Mr. Wright! How could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, that's the thing. 
Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Hmm. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my pr proof. Um, uh, can I do that again? This doesn't prove anything. Ha, lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I'll ask you the question again. Where have you ascertained that this... He missed the comic to the fight because he was looking at something else, probably. Probably? Something else? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could have possibly distract... Could possibly distract this boy from seeing this Isle of the Steel Samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Ugh. Come on, think of something. That's right, please refrain from making baseless claims. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. Do you have another explanation for this? We have asked for... Okay. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. The, the more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright... Well, son... Well, evidence... Well, the evidence route is pretty much the only thing I can do, apparently. Hmm. Okay, I'm running out of ideas. Hmm. Hmm. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the at that criminal moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey. Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Person not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix? I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than more than that. Now let him testify again. R right. Me and me's business. Your Honor! The defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. V very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why didn't you take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. Aw, oh, poor kid. Look at him. He's sobbing. I feel bad. I'm not entirely surprised, though, considering that I've kind of been badgering him a little bit. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens went open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Nothing there. Not so strange there. The still Samurai just escaped from the closest of the villain. 
So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Seal Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving. Strangely. So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why, were, why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When when the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the Steel Samurai. That's all that happened. Yep. Okay. Which one was it? Moving strangely. Um, presents? Is this what he saw? Oh, jeez. It, it doesn't come... No, but... Okay, I'm screwed. One more of those and I'm dead. One more of those and it's game over for me. Um... That's all? Y yeah. I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once... I would I would have once I got that lens open. Do you really not take a picture? Not even once? Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey. Bullseye. Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. W wow. This feels great. Y yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Did you erase them? You erased them? Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know. W why, wouldn't, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I poke holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Well. Pops. Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky head geezer. Geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth, and I guess I'm the beard gentleman. That's why I hate you about grown-ups. You're so self-conscious. Okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness. Testify. You apes. Okay. Hmm. Um, if... <sighs> he takes pictures of everything. And he keeps them in his little scrapbook. Cody. What? what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. What is it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody? Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Uh, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see... Don't you find it very odd, Your Honor? Among all these pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Fair enough. Order. Mr. Wright, have you, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Hmm. No. Wait. No way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. But Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell him, Phoenix. Tell him what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what's going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? He 
Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N no way! No, it's impossible. The, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever! Oh boy. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us why he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit he was, what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. We beat it. I think we beat the chapter. Order. I will have order. W witness. I mean, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Aw. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I... Oh, boy. Cody? That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. The, the, the Steel Samurai fell down. The, then he didn't m move. <sighs> oh. Meaning. Order, order, order. Meaning some, but. Wait. Kind of stun you're trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Meaning the guy. Meaning Jack Hammer was the one in the suit, right? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's all this about? Quite simply, the victim was Jack Hammer. Surprising no one. Um, uh, Mr. Wright? We all know that. Right. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider your last statement? I'm sorry. It was I who was wrong. Okay. Right. First you're right, now you're wrong. Which is it? And I'm screwed. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. And crap, we, here we go. Let's find the Mr. Bill Powers. And I'm screwed. The accused will surrender the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month to today's date. That is all. The score is adjourned. And there I go. How? Uh. Oh, now I have to do the entire thing over again. Oh. Uh, Well, I know what I'm doing now, so it should go quicker! Yay, I lost. Okay, that's that, so that's what happens when you get a game over. Um, I never, I've never gotten a game over in this game before, so. Meaning, uh, well, now I know, well, now I know what I'm doing now. So now I know, so now I know what the correct answer is. Huh. All right. Well, you, well, I'll come back to I'll come back to this later. Replay this again and and try to get a get a better ending. But for right for me for right now, I'm going to leave this session here. But I am going to come back and con finish this episode off correctly. So I'm so for right now, um, I'm gonna I'll come I'll come back to this. But for right now, just bear with me. I'll be back in a bit. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back where I was, so let's get back into it. The Steel Samurai wouldn't have won. Okay, the Steel Samurai... The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy just fielded the Steel Samurai. No, no, no way! No, it, it's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. Same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit they saw what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. O order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Ah... Uh... Okay, now he's stopping. Now he's back to his sobbing thing. 
Okay. Now we can... I think I know how to finish this. The day you saw the still summary lose a fight, right? I also have a lot more lives to fool around with, so I should be fine. You're right. The, the still summary fell down. The, then he didn't move. <laughs> so... Order, order, order. What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Huh. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's all this about? Steel Samurai was the victim. That, if you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Aha! I got it! Order, order, order. So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying this co in the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run-through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldback said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he stuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Question is, though, where's the costume? But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a, f a photo on my digital camera. Show me the data! Wh what Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're going to look at me like that. We're not here to yell at you. We're just trying to figure out what happened. Here, this is it. That's interesting. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid there could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. It's not Studio One, though. It's Studio Two. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. I'm being called. Hello? Hello? Hi. What are you doing yourself? Recording. Oh. Call me when you're done. Okay. Bye. Bye. Look at the... F okay. Sorry about that. Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. W what? Y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show me. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts that we all know in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Your Honor, look at this. I see. A gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a 2. Clearly not a 1, Your Honor, correct? Now we win! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's the, all this about? Please explain that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. It's Studio Two, not Studio One. Here, at Studio Two. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. 
During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Ha ha! We win! The path to the trailer was blocked. So we so we have heard. The path was blocked at 215. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only they were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Aha! We win! Uh, order, order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person at that security guard, Mr. Obeg, saw, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a seal samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? What? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I have proof. I do have proof. I have proof. Y you do? Oh, you do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole this ca costume. Sleeping pills! This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Aha! Aha! Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes? But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. If we fingerprint the bottle... No, if... Well, testing the blood would have caused it to dissolve. It, it, should, it would have dissolved into the bloodstream by now and wouldn't no longer be there. So testing his blood wouldn't work at all. Examine the hammer's body. Hammer wouldn't... Hammer wouldn't still have pills on him, would he? I don't think he would. Let's try finger... Fingerprint the bottle, I guess. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on the on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well. This court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. Meaning we no longer have... And since we don't have to go back to Studio 1 anyway, and we can't go back to Studio 1 anyway, then that means that we shouldn't have to go back to Studio 1 any further and can just go investigate Studio 2 now. And those in the tra trailer di did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answer for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Miss Edgeworth, hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Okay, so now we have another day. Very well. Court is adjourned. There's a reason that... I think there's a reason people like this game. Clearly. October 19th, 2.47 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Phew. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home after three, about three times during the trial. How do you go home if you're a ghost? Explain that to me. But me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha, huh, maybe I should take up my career in acting? It was, I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D -d dead Ho ho, of course, we're kidding. You sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. Sniff. Okay, so that's the end. That's the end of the trial. I finished it. So, we should be good. We should be Gucci. Alright. 
All right, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. That was an interesting trial. Um, so, so now we know that the victim, Jack Hammer, actually did steal the Seal Samurai costume, drugged J Will Power so he could sneak in, and went to Studio 2 instead of Studio 1, meaning somebody at Studio 2 would have had to be involved in the murder. And that's significant. So, but that also means that some that somebody would have murder would have had to have murdered Jack Hammer, then move then then switch his body into this evil magistrate costume and move him to the Studio One area. So there's clearly something else going on here. But we'll see. But we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna leave it here though. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below to keep up to date with what's going on with the channel because I post updates over there from time to time. And I also don't really post updates over here. So if you guys want to keep up to date with what's going on with the channel, then be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter. And if you guys do, do indeed enjoy the content and want to help support it and help me make more of it, then be sure to check out my Patreon. It's only a couple bucks a month and it really helps me out because I like making content for you guys and a Patreon is the best way to help me do that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Meaning he stops. Ow. Well, now I gotta do the entire fight over. I've gotten pretty good doing the